Hello and welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday, March 30th, 2020 edition. Today we are going to briefly talk about how to make the most of your Google Classroom if you are using it, online learning edition. Today we're going to cover the following stream versus classwork, topics, 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 including a workaround on sort of archiving assignments, notifications, and how to bookmark your classwork page. All right, so let's get started. So to get started, let's talk a little bit about Stream. So on the Stream, basically it's like Facebook, right? So anytime something posts, it posts to your Stream. You can post um, announcements here, et cetera, et cetera. However, what we recommend is making sure that you're using your stream only for announcements. So you don't want anything to come from your classwork page that you're posting in classwork, any assignments, um, and you don't want those to show up in your stream. So to, and that is simply for organizational purposes. So a lot of today we're gonna talk about organizational purposes. So if you're on your stream, go to settings, scroll down, and here we can do classwork on the stream and we wanna make sure that it says hide notifications. It probably says show condensed notifications. You want it to say hide notifications. You can also change so that students can post and comment or any of these here as well. And then just click save when you're done. Okay, next, classwork. Topics are so important in online learning. To create, these are these topics, these right here, this right here. So if you click create and you click topic, it will allow you to create a topic. So let's see, our next, next one will be April 13th, 2020, and then it'll pop up. If I want to go in, I can edit this by clicking here and rename week of... Um, also, let's say that I created these topics and now I have, um, these are out of order. So I can just drag this down here. All right. Now, any assignments that I add, I will click create assignment. I can do reading assignment. I can go in here and I just want to show you this as a side note. This is a great time to differentiate your experiences for your kids. So under all students, you can click on here. I don't have any kids in my class. You can, you will. So you can just click through and click the ones that you want to have this information um, or assignment. You can put a due date and then you can add your topic here. So if you don't have a topic you want to use, you click create topic. If you have a topic you want to use, you'll click one of these. And then you can click assign and it'll assign right away. You can also go in and assign future work by clicking here and clicking schedule. So when will this assignment pop open? on this day at 8 a.m. So I click schedule and then this is scheduled for April 13th. It will not overwhelm the kids, but you can do some future work here. Um, if I am done with an assignment and kids are done with it and I don't want to clutter, I can create a topic named past assignments and that will allow me to then drag any past assignments that I want into my past assignment topic. So the kids are only focused on specific things, right? So we don't want to overwhelm them with work um, and we can just make sure that they're seeing exactly what we want them to see for the day. All right, um, notifications. So if you click over here on uh, this, these, they call it the hamburger, and you go to settings, here is where you can turn off your notifications. So you probably are getting overwhelmed with email notifications. Now, this is going to turn off all of them for all of your classes. So if you don't want to do that, you can check here and see what notifications you want to um, turn on and turn off. 
you can, oh, it looks like they added this new. So now you can turn off um, notifications for certain classes, which is a great option for a lot of people. Okay, and finally, if you are in people and you have kids down here, I'm assuming you do, you can actually mute them by selecting them right here and clicking the drop down and it'll allow you to click mute if they're uh, misbehaving in their um, communications with other kids. Okay, um, I'm under class, and this is the final one, so I'm under classwork and I want to add this um, page to my bookmarks bar. So let's say you don't have your bookmarks bar open and this is only in Google Chrome. You can click here on the three dots, go to big bookmarks and click show bookmarks bar. So now it's going to be here. Then I can either select this little star where I bookmark this tab and make sure it goes to the bookmarks bar. I could um, rename this, right? So classwork first hour click done and it'll pop up here or I can just drag this little um, lock sign down here and it'll pop down there as well so there's a couple different options there I hope that this helps you be a little bit more um, productive and please let us know how we can help looking forward to working with you on Thursday of this week from 1 to 2 during our virtual office hours have a great day